David Hudson has been on this journey before. In the last three years, he's had throat cancer, skin cancer, and is now starting treatment for a third. In September last year, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, what were you thinking at that point? I'm thinking I was unlucky, but um, unlucky is not a strong enough word. But his luck, or whatever you want to call it, might have just changed. He's now the UK's first patient enrolled in a trial to investigate the potential of this new technology. Called an MR LINAC, it's an MRI scanner with cancer killing power. Its magnets mean our camera can't go near it. So it's effectively an MRI scanner split in two to make room for this, which is a linear accelerator, a machine that makes a high energy beam of radiation to treat the patient's tumour. Normally radiotherapy is a two-stage process, a scan of the tumour is made, then a dose of radiation is given. Now this team can image and treat at the same time. So by um, allowing different beams to come from different angles, with different times, it makes a nice tight uh, high dose area around the prostate and then a lower dose area spills off. The technique allows them to more accurately treat tumours. It could be crucial for those in or near critical organs or those that move, like the lungs. With this technology, we have the potential of seeing areas of the body better than we can see them um, at present. And if we can do that, then we can not only treat the patients with radiotherapy, but we can increase the dose to try and increase the cure rate. I feel very lucky indeed uh, that um, I'm having this treatment. I feel very confident in, in this technology. Um, from, from my diagnosis, and it's going to help me to, to defeat this third bout of cancer. There's only six other machines like this worldwide, and they're expensive. Pioneers like David will help prove which cancers they treat best to make the most of a valuable, life-saving resource. Tom Clark, News at 10, Manchester.